painting is time consuming. When a board game has a miniature count in the double or sometimes triple digits, the amount of time it takes to paint can become enormous. This method is a quick paint method to apply to tons of miniatures with an optional jade effect so you can cut down on your time painting and have more time playing. What you will need is paint in the color you want your mini to be in, either white or a lighter version of the base color, black paint, some water, and varnish. I'm going to be showing the exact colors I use for each army at the end of the video, or you can check the description. A glossy varnish is the key to the jade effect, however, I'll be demonstrating how to achieve the same effect with a matte varnish. I'm gonna be painting the Great Wall here because I feel the jade effect is very thematic for a game set in China. I also did this for the Japanese themed Rising Sun, which you can find a written version of this guide in the description. The jade effect is optional, so you always have the option to omit that step should you choose. Now what we're going to be doing is base painting in our primary color, creating and applying a wash, dry brushing, and then finally varnishing. For the first step, you're going to paint all your miniatures in their base color. I'll be demonstrating the green army here. Make sure you spread your paint out evenly, don't let it bunch up anywhere. If you can't paint the miniature in one go because of wet paint, just let it dry and come back to it. Now we will apply a wash. To do this, we are going to mix one part the color we just painted to one part black to about two to three parts water. I see in other paint guides that people like to put in a small amount of either alcohol or soap to help this wash run better. I have no idea if this is true, but I'm going to be adding some hand sanitizer because who doesn't have that in their home nowadays? Just a small drop. Now mix this wash well so the paint doesn't clump together. The consistency of this wash should be somewhat watery. If it's too thick while mixing it, it'll be too thick on the mini. Remedy this by adding more water. If the wash is too runny, there isn't enough paint, and the wash will fall off the mini, add more paint to a watery, runny wash. Try applying a small amount of wash onto your mini first just to test. You should see the crevices and the details of your minis fill in with black, while your mini mostly maintains the integrity of its color. The mini will be slightly darker, but no worries, that's why we will dry brush in the next step. You can see here I'm dipping my paintbrush with a bit of wash and letting it run all over the mini. I'm being more generous with the amount of wash I'm applying versus when painting a fully colored mini because these are meant to be jade statues and the darker wash lines look better in my opinion. That being said, if there's too much buildup of wash in one area, you can remove it by dabbing that area with another paintbrush to soak up the excess wash. Like in the previous step, you may have to do two layers because some parts of the mini will be difficult to grip before the wash is dried. Now the only weird thing here is if you're washing in yellow. Yellow is an issue in a lot of miniature painting because the color is so light that it can be too easily distorted by the layer of paint below it or the layer of paint above it. So for the yellow wash, I didn't do a yellow and black mixture, instead I did a red mixture with only one drop of black just to slightly bring down the color of my red. How you wash yellow is a personal preference. You can use this as a reference to see if you like the look of washing in a darker red but you can also wash in brown or in orange. So now with our minis washed and dried, we're gonna be applying the previous color back onto the mini to remove some of the darkness that occurred as a side effect of the wash. To do this, get some of the original paint color, take a dry brush, not the one you've been using for washing, it must be dry, and then start dry brushing. Get some paint onto your brush, swipe it across a paper towel to get off the majority of the paint, and start swiping quickly across your miniature. When done correctly, you will see the colors of your miniature return back to what it was before the wash, whilst maintaining the crevices and details the wash filled in. Now you can add additional layers of dry brushing if you want. Add a bit of white to your primary color, mix together, and dry brush again. However, you're going to dry brush even less paint than before, and only to the pointiest parts of the mini. 
This step isn't necessary and I didn't do it for all the colors, I only did it for green and blue and left the other colors as they were because I thought they looked fine. After all of this, you can finally start varnishing. First, set up your miniatures in a well-ventilated place and start shaking your varnish can. If you have a glossy varnish, just spray from 12 inches to 18 inches away in quick bursts making sure you hit everywhere on the mini. If you have a matte varnish, you will do the same, however instead of 12 to 18 inches away, I spray only a few inches away. I really douse these in the matte varnish because this is what's going to give it the glossy effect. Most people probably don't want a glossy finish if they purchase a matte varnish, but this is a little trick to get that glossy coat regardless. Rotate and move your miniatures so that everyone and everywhere gets a proper coating. Remember this rule of thumb, you can always add more varnish but you cannot remove it. So if you're not confident with how much varnish to add, spray on a small amount first, then add more if you require more gloss. Even if you don't want any type of finish over your miniatures, I still recommend varnishing your minis because it will protect your paint job from wear and tear through use. Alright, so how long did that take? Each army took roughly 2 hours to paint, with some closer to 3 depending on how many layers of dry brushing I applied, while the varnishing process took about 2 hours, but most of that was waiting for layers to dry. I would estimate this took about 14 hours to do, I believe there's around 140 miniatures here which is roughly 6 minutes a mini, to fully paint and varnish which is fairly quick. By the way, I have the guides for Genghis Khan and some of those other figures you see in the back in my description and on my channel. This game is painted and now ready to play. The written version of this guide is on my website linked in the description. Thanks for watching.